historians termed the revolt as India's first war of independence. The rebellion was started by the sepoys of Meerut. What led them to the riot? Poor salary and abuse by the British officers were the major reasons for their resentment. The rumor that the cartridge in the newly supplied Enfield rifles were greased with the fat of cows and pigs provoked them. It wounded the religious sentiments of the Hindu and Muslim soldiers. The soldiers who were unwilling to use the new cartridge were punished by the officers. In Barakpur in Bengal, Mangal Pandey, an Indian soldier, shot a British officer who forced him to use the new cartridge. He was arrested and hanged to death. People from all walk of life, including kings, farmers, craftsmen, took part in the rebellion. The British rule had adversely affected the king too. In addition to the doctrine of lapse, the princely states were convicted of inefficient rule and were annexed by the British. This made kings to lead the rebellion. Along with the kings and the sepoys, common people also took part in the revolt. They attacked the British and money lenders and set fire to their account books, deeds and documents of transactions. The salient feature of this rebellion was the active participation of the common people like farmers and craftsmen. Out of one and a half lakhs of people who were killed in the riots at Avat, a princely state, one lakh were the common people. The real strength of the rebellion was the Hindu-Muslim unity. A spirit of cooperation existed among soldiers, common people and the leaders. The rioters captured Delhi and declared Bahadur Shah II as the Emperor of India. Rioters could not overcome the superior military power of the British and the rebellion was completely suppressed. Though the revolt could not succeed completely, it was marked as the foremost massive resistance of the Indian against the British. It brought about several changes in the policies and administration of the British. The British Parliament took over India from the British East India Company. However, the economic exploitation of the British reached its extreme level in the post-1857 phase. In the second half of the 19th century, around 2 crores of people died spread over 24 great famines.